M0FXB, welcome back to the channel with the announcement of the new Icon 7 300 and its extra features, which are improved RMDR and phase noise characteristics, lower heat generation consumption, HDMI output port, which is a biggie, um, RX antenna in out, built in CW decoder, simplified RSB on B1 remote control interface and USB-C dual com audio uh, and audio uh, and extra receive antenna. So you can basically CW decode with this. You can connect a HDMI, you know, screen and it works good with audio. Yeah. And they've improved, you know, they've basically overall Im improved this device and you've got a blue light when it powers on. Um, otherwise, it's identical. You can't actually see a difference until you go into the menus and you see the extra network settings because you've got a an Ethernet port. Now, they haven't added Wi-Fi, which really surprises me. But, you know, you can still interface with RSBA1. You can control this radio without a computer anywhere in the world. So, it, you know, the, the, the settings uh, are all within the menu. So, great. So, I was thinking, I've got my 7300 here, which I love. I only paid £600 for it. So I was thinking, right, if I sell it, I'd be lucky to get £500 for it uh, if I part exchange it. My prediction on the new price of the 7302 is now, I would say, £1,300. So I, I would effectively have to spend, if I get 500 for that, £800. So then I started thinking, well, I've, I've always wanted um, a 9700. I've never quite gone there. I, I bought the 705 when it first came out and it's got a lot of the features that the 9700 has got um, in the 705, basically VHF and UHF. It does not have transmit on the 23 SEMS band. 12, 1300 megahertz. Um, so I've now decided that I'm going to put the money that I may have spent if I sold the 7300. I've decided to put all that money that I would have spent um, uh, to the 9700. And yes, I have to I have to buy. It. And if you shop around, you know, you can try and get one abroad. But if you shop around and get a brand new one locally, it's going to be, a, you know, 1800 pounds upwards. So the re part of the reason why I decided to go for it, and it's already ordered, is because it, the reason, part of the reason they have kept with the 7300 Mark II is because they don't want to stop making the 9700 uh, because it's such a successful VHF, UHF and 23 Simmons radio. If we look on the back here, I scroll up, it already has the, the, 20, the, the, uh, the network connection ability. And let's just take a look at these rear connectors and their big thanks to universal radios. Uh, you can see the network connection on the left there and you've got your USB connection. The antennas, you've got the B, which is 430 to 440. And it's a shame they never put a duplexer in it. And then the D, is it the D? Let's get it right. D says the 10, meg, 10 megahertz reference signal. Hmm. I would have thought that would have been probably the 23 centimetre connection. But anyway, correct me. No, that's right. I got bad eyes. <laughs> it is. Um, and then you've got the F here. Looking for F now, which is like the SMA connection there. 10 megahertz reference signal input. G accessory socket. Then call up all these ports for um, speakers. And hey, I'm not going to say every single one. Four pin connector for power. So to me, it's got the networking already. And there's a part of me that thinks that this radio is going to be around for a, another 10 years. Uh, I'm just going to read in some of the titles here. It says uh, one for it says the frequencies it covers one for four, four, thirty, twelve hundred ICOMs, digital expertise, real time spectrum scope, which we know it's going to do that independent receiver full duplex. So it's not like the 705. You can only hear one at a time. You can hear two at the same time here. Um, auto scope function, newly designed power amplifier. It, apparently, it's up to 100 watts, uh, which is good. Of course, D Star, and um, yeah, hopefully they're going to bring in some new firmware to make the the setup for the RSBA1 simpler, like they've decided to do with the 7300. That would be nice. So that's the way I've decided to go. I, you know, I could have um, sold it, but I'm just like. 
Do I really want CW decode? Not really. I never use external monitors because I like looking at the radios. Uh, and if I do want an external monitor with the IC7300, then I just use other other applications like the RSBA one. I've also got SDR control, which is, whoa, fantastic. I've already got that. Um, so that's where I'm going. So basically, um, just, you know, just a heads up that soon I'll be making some very detailed videos as I learn the ICOM 9. 700 i wonder what your decision is because if you've already got a 7300 that you love you've probably uh, modified it and opened it up many have uh i don't think mine is um uh, and um so that's going to cover bands that you might use what's your thinking on it are you thinking you're going to upgrade your 7300 or you know sell it part exchange it and then get the new one uh, or are you thinking just keep it and that the extra things they're offering, okay, they're nice, but really you won't really use them or you don't really need them. Uh, these are fantastic radios regardless. Um, have you already got a 9700? Do you swear by it or do you think it's a bit overpriced? Because, you know, that at one point they were over £2,000 and it's the same size. And or you might say, well, hang on, they should have just put a shack in the box because it's a perfect size the 7300, the 9700 for a shack in the box, uh, isn't it? It is. It's, and it's, of course they can get it in there. If they can get it into a, into a Icon 7000, or we've got this in front of me here, we've got the 7100. Of course they can get it into that box, yeah? But of, of course, it costs lots of development money, firmware and all that. So let me know how you're going. Very interesting anyway, uh, the fact that, these, the, that they decided to stick with the 7300 Mark II. Because don't forget, when they decide to stick with something, that's 15 years, yeah, with ICOM, um, thereabouts. And uh, so are they going to bring out the new 9700 with Wi-Fi? Mm, I don't think they are, actually, because I think they would have already done it. Will, they're like, no, nah, they can buy the 705, they can buy the 905. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.